Yes, indeed. Miho Martin, where are you? Where are you? Miho Martin. 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 Friends, friends, as we said, this uh, demonstration was originally called before the barbaric assault of Israel started against uh, Gaza. It was originally a demonstration about our fears that the Irish government want to undermine our tradition of neutrality. And as Sarah said, neutrality does not mean indifference. Neutrality does not mean doing nothing. Our In Ireland, our tradition of neutrality comes from the fact that we were victims of colonial oppression at the hands of the British Empire. And what the people who went out in 1916, in the 1916 Rising, and in the Irish Revolution, meant by neutrality is that we would never side with empires and colonial powers. We would always stand with the oppressed of the world. Always with the oppressed of the world. And in that regard, Micheál Martin and this government have brought shame Shame on the tradition of Irish neutrality. Over, over the last number of weeks, they have reinforced the narrative of lies put out by the US Empire, by Britain, and the other sponsors and supporters of the Israeli regime. Somehow, that the barbarism we are witnessing in Gaza had something to do with self-defense. And we are here to nail that lie. We are seeing in front of the eyes of the world a genocidal attack on the people of Palestine. And I was talking today with... Uh, Scholars, we were at a meeting organized by the Rohingya people. The Rohingya people, also victims of a genocidal attack in Myanmar. And today, they organized an online international rally for Palestine and for Gaza. And at it, there was a speaker from Gaza, an academic, along with other academics who were specialized, including Jewish academics, who specialized in genocide. And they said that this is a textbook example of genocide. The dehumanization of the Palestinians. And they pointed out, particularly the academic from Gaza, he said, this is unique. We have seen terrible genocides in history, in the Congo, uh, of the Armenian people of the Nazi Holocaust against the Jews. And this is another episode in that dark history of genocides now being perpetrated against the people of Gaza. But what is unique about this, what is unique and makes it all the more obscene is that it is happening live on television in front of the eyes of the world. And what is also unique about it is the perpetrators of this genocide are not even hiding their genocidal intent. They are saying it in front of the world. We are going to starve an entire population of food, of water, of electricity, of medicine. They have described the Palestinian people as animals, dehumanizing and yes, and yes, the 
their sponsors, the United States and Britain, cannot even say a word ceasefire. They are supporting them. They could not continue this massacre without the support of the United States, of Britain, of France, of Germany, of people like Ursula von der Leyen. They are their sponsors. They have blood on their hands. So that brings us to our government. Because what should our government, with our history, be saying about this? They should be standing full square with the Palestinians and calling this genocide out for what it is. And they should challenge the lie that this began on October the 7th. This began, this began with the British Empire promoting Zionism, the Nakba of 1948, and 75 years of ethnic cleansing, of apartheid, of persecution, of oppression, of relentless killing of Palestinians, and now genocide in front of our eyes. That is the truth, and we have to speak that truth to this government and force our government to tell the truth about this massacre. And that means not just words. We want action. There has to be sanctions. There has to be accountability. The, Ill, the impunity of Israel must end. And that means me, Owen Martin, must expel the Israeli ambassador. Israeli ambassador! Israeli ambassador! Israeli ambassador! But I just want to conclude my remarks by saying this. It's not just about the ambassador. We're going to start with that. We begin with that. And if somebody in the door does not bring that motion in front of the door, we did it a few weeks ago, they voted against it. We will make sure it gets on the agenda of the toll in the next couple of weeks. And we want thousands and tens of thousands to be outside the toll. And we want to see people vote with the Palestinians by voting. But we must go beyond that. We want complete boycott, complete divestment, complete sanctions. The apartheid, no apartheid state any more than South African apartheid had any place in the, in the company of civilized nations. They have no place. They have no right to defend apartheid. They have no right to defend ethnic cleansing. They have no right to defend occupation. The people of Palestine have the right to resist all of those things. And we need to stand with them. Okay. I'm going to introduce our first speaker. Sorry for going on so long, but we have to say these things. Claire Daly, who's been another voice in Europe, member of the European Parliament, please give her a welcome.